guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a how to slash um, what I use to um, dye my curly hair. I have been using the John Frieda um, Precision Foam Color for a very long time. I use the color, what is this? I don't even, oh, the Dark Caramel Blonde and I have it in 7NBG. That's the color that I use that creates this warm color. Um, my natural hair color is pretty dark. Um, I have tons of roots right now. So you can probably see if I like put my, like you see the difference between my roots and my hair. Um, but when this washes out, it just kind of becomes this like warm brown color. And I was in talks with the naturallycurly.com people and they were nice enough to send this over to me. This is the Baijin semi-permanent hair color and I got it in medium warm brown. And I also got the deep conditioner. I've, I've always been using like a foam color because I feel like it's not as harsh as um, like the cream the liquid dyes and this is a semi-permanent color so I was um, I totally volunteered to check this out and review it this is not a sponsored post by the way it's just it's totally voluntary and I wanted to try this out and they were kind enough to send this to me so um, in addition the deep conditioner is also was also sent to me this is the Baijin deep conditioner for color treated hair which smooths and shines instantly um, I was really interested in this because you can use this with wet hair which I thought was <laughs> the bomb.com because um, in the beginning I was like this little bottle is not gonna take like it's not gonna help me with my hair like I mean I'm surprised I used to use like two boxes minimum with liquid dyes and I mean you guys can see I have a lot of hair and so I was really nervous that they only said this little bottle but then I read the instructions and you can use this um, on shampooed towel dried hair so that totally helps out um, instead of like having to shampoo your hair and like clean it and then you can't use any other product otherwise which it's kind of annoying because when I dye my hair I usually like wash my hair and then the next day when it's dry it's so brittle because I couldn't put any type of like styling treatment in it um, so that it doesn't affect the color payoff so I'm really excited to do these two different products and the only thing I won't be able to include is the actual applying of it because it's when it's gonna be like after I shower and I'm too nervous to have like dye around my vanity area um, but I will come back to show you guys um, to let you guys know like the color and everything um, which I'm kind of nervous about because I haven't switched a uh, company for hair dye in a really really long time so um, I'm really excited about it but this will be actually a little bit darker than what I have now or maybe it's something close to it but um, I have very like light areas in my hair um, just from the like how it fades so I think this is gonna make it a little bit more even and definitely maybe a shade darker which I don't mind because it's semi-permanent which means it's not it's gonna like wash out eventually um, for the actual product this says it's a gentle oil rich formula with no ammonia no peroxide and it has honey and beeswax and sunflower oil which I thought was really awesome it's supposed to like keep your hair really really smooth and um, anti-frizz and just very soft and it says that it's safe for all hair types including chemically treated and relaxed hair and it's supposed to leave hair very shiny soft and beautiful. The actual application which is a lot different than any other dye I've ever used um, you can shampoo your hair just come out of the shower and just towel dry it and then um, apply this with a comb throughout all of your hair which I think why only one bottle should definitely suffice because your hair will be wet and when your, my hair is dry I feel like it soaks up so much product when I use other dyes and then you're supposed to leave it on for 25 minutes in room temperature um, and then you get back into the shower and then you just rinse it out like any other dye and just to make sure that when the water run, runs clear is when you can use the deep conditioner or the conditioner so I'm actually going to use the deep conditioner they provided um, and this one just specifically says after shampooing apply and leave on um, for 10 minutes if you want under a dryer I don't usually do dryers I don't have a dryer so I just kind of leave it in my hair while I like bathe um, so this one says it helps to moisturize hair damaged by chemicals and excellent for restoring and conditioning color treated hair which I thought was really awesome that's my life story so yeah I will go and apply this right now and as you can see I have quite a bit of growth um, I mean like a lot of growth and just stay tuned to see what my hair looks like after I dye it Hey guys, so I wanted to wait until my hair was fully dry so you guys can really see the color because I feel like when it's wet, um, it just looks a little darker. But I was suspect suspecting this to be a lot, um, not a lot darker, but like a, a good shade or two darker than my hair was. Like there's no, there's not that much like blonde going on at the bottom anymore. 
Um, so I think it was a pretty good match for me. Um, and again, the color was WB3 Medium Warm Brown. And I, this is actually a new bottle because I really dirted the other one. So I just wanted to go pick up another one um, to show you guys. And you can get this for like 3 or $4 at Walmart. Um, I don't know where else they sell it, but mine is at Walmart. And let's start with the pros. I think that the application process is definitely a pro because you can wash your hair have it clean and shampooed and then use it with damp towel dried hair which is like a total difference than any other dye I've ever used. Um, it is semi permanent so I don't feel like it's too damaging on the hair. Um, yeah it smells like dye but like not too strong. Um, I feel like the honey definitely has an impact on it especially with how soft it comes out like my hair um, this has styling product in it so sorry it looks like a little bit of a mess but it has styling product in it but I do feel like it was uh, like definitely more moisturizing than my other dyes and the deep conditioner by the way I really really liked the smell I think it was the beeswax something about it smelled so good um, and it felt very like enriched when I was in the shower and it was definitely a good counterpart with the dye um, when you buy it at Walmart you can buy it by itself but I do recommend a really good conditioner or deep conditioner after you dye your hair because you just want to make sure it's moisturized and just drenched with moisture um, I did, I was, since I've never used this before, I was a little afraid to sleep on, because I have like white pillowcases, white sheets and everything, so I was a little afraid to sleep on my normal bed sheets, and I used a towel over all of my um, t uh, pillows, and it did not stain at all, so, and I went to bed with like pretty much damp hair, so it was a, a relief, and I woke up, there was no staining at all, and the water ran like really clear after I wash my hair out so that's a big, big plus plus. and I feel like the color has is like a little multi-dimensional um, for having like a wet formula like having it sh like on wet hair I feel like it just comes out it doesn't come out flat if you understand what I'm saying like it has some d type of dimension to it which I thought was really really cool and I didn't lose like any curl um, curl pattern or anything like after coming out of the shower and like drying like my hair styled as normal so there was no like crazy chemical like payoff where like my curls look a little bit different and so just make sure that if you have grays like I have really stubborn grays you guys can't tell because I it did pretty well covering up maybe like right here I have one or two that was too stubborn I left it on for an extra five minutes you're supposed to leave it on for 25 minutes I left it on for 30 and I always do that with every dye just because I know my hair I know my scalp and I know that I can take it but I do not recommend that to anyone who has never dyed their hair or just in general like just you know that's on you you choose that but for me I always tend to leave it on five or ten minutes after because I have really stubborn grays and this did a pretty good job um, for 30 minutes but I still have like one or two grays that I didn't cover but like my hair is very stubborn so it, I mean it could probably cover all of your grays depending on how your hair is. And as you can tell the cover the cover the color came out pretty even all around which I like and it didn't stain my scalp or anything so there was no like damage or anything like that it was very gentle and for, I mean, four bucks at Walmart, I was actually shocked at how this entire bottle did my hair because, I mean, obviously I have a lot of hair. So if you have any more hair than I do, I suggest buying two. <laughs> Alright, and that's it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!